ওয়েস্টিং ইউর টাইম সো দিস ইজ আ ব্রড কোয়েশ্চেন সো আই জাস্ট ন্যারো ডাউন ইন আ টু টু থ্রি সেন্টেন্স অলওয়েজ হ্যাভ আ প্ল্যান এ প্ল্যান বি এন্ড প্ল্যান সি সো ইফ ইউ ওয়ান্ট টু সুইচ ফ্রম প্ল্যান এ টু প্ল্যান বি সো ইউ হ্যাভ সামথিং ইন ইউর হ্যান্ড এন্ড দ্যাট প্ল্যান বি এন্ড প্ল্যান সি শুড বি রিলেটেড টু ইউর প্ল্যান এ সো ইউর দ্য হোল প্রোগ্রেস ইউর হোল হার্ড ওয়ার্কিং উড নট বি ওয়েস্টেড নেক্সট এম দি আলমগীর আক্সড if i want to publish a thesis in a journal paper in this case which research tools i can use to summarize to write this thesis in the form of a journal paper because okay. uh, uh, ma'am there is a little uh, more let me finish sorry to interrupt you okay because a thesis has literature review methodology result discussion and conclusion etc which contain detailed descriptions with many titles subtitles which are very large in size okay ma'am ma'am you can go on okay so the basically you are question how to convert your thesis into a, into a research paper so research paper is very concise and thesis is a very detailed so i have a particular post on it in my linkedin profile you can check on it so in summarizing from here uh, from here i just summarize it uh, just uh, follow the pattern but i am already pattern like problem what is the what is the problem what is the solution and what uh, and what is the answer of your solution for example there is a problem and there is a question and uh, what is the answer and the answer would be your methodology so just summarize the introduction like uh, you have write a detailed introduction in your thesis but if i ask you to write your introduction in your five to six uh, lines or the paragraph in the first paragraph you will give the overview of the topic in the second the problem in the third how we can improve it so this is similar uh, procedure for writing the introduction for the general submission the problem uh, the uh, the problem what is the uh, what is the topic what is the problem and what is the solution and what are you going and what the objective how how to solve your research question so this is how so try to incorporate those research which are the most relevant and important to your field for example if i say ftir is a more highest technique that is used in uh, uh, drug bio drug diversity so i will mention ftir uh, results more uh, more as compared to the other uh, instrumental results so you can narrow down which result is more important and uh, which result is not important so Uh, based on the results you can uh, write your methodology and discuss it section so just write uh, the this in the discussion you can only write the most relevant results uh, that are comparable with the already published literature so i hope you can get the answer okay ma'am next abdullahi said uh, that can you help me AI for critical paper review. AI for critical paper review. Critical paper review for studying or for writing. 
I think he's asking for systematic paper, uh, systematic paper review for paper writing. Okay. So it's paper writing again for paper fall. If you want to study hard, then use SciSpace. Upload indefinitely number of papers into the SciSpace, or you can find the relevant uh, literature from directly from the SciSpace. Study, chat with your GTPT, and once understand your topic, then you can go ahead with literature mapping. Ma'am, MD Raj, uh, Rizon Shah is asking if there is any YouTube channel or any website of yours that uh, uh, people can learn things from you. Uh, from LinkedIn from my from my LinkedIn profile. Okay. Yes. Now anyone from uh you can get me get all the relevant information from the my LinkedIn profile and you can reach me through this profile or by my email. I will respond to all who will reach me. Thank you, ma'am. Now I'm asking is there any other participants want to ask any questions okay new questions uh so, siam said i want to write a review paper i have summary of more than 100 papers but i cannot organize them in every section there an ai tool that will help me is there an ai tool that will help me organize this summary Okay, so basically you are a collector or a gatherer, gatherer researcher, which I introduced a concept in my presentation. You have gathered all the information in one place. Now you don't know which paper is the first and which paper I should read and which paper I should not read. So that's why I introduced a literature mapping tool, a uh, detector approach. First narrative, develop a research question. What is your research question? There is no mean you have gathered 100 papers and you don't know how to organize them. What is your research question? Basically, if you want to address this uh, topic A, so you should have a paper related to topic A. So if the 100 collection have only 10 papers, so the, the remaining 90 paper is irrelevant to your topic. I hope uh, you get my point that you should ask yourself, what is your research question? Which topic you should home address? Okay. Organize into Zetro. Write a few lines, few points uh, against each PDF. Zetro offer you are not keeping, uh, are not uh, not taking feature also. So you can write a question, write a summary of the particular uh, paper and organize it. You can't study the hundred of papers because being a PhD, I can't study a hundred papers on a single topic. So I built a narrative. I will ask myself, what is my research question? Uh, how I can address the particular scenario? So first develop a strategy. What is your research question and how to solve it? Then start searching. So you might be feel that the out of these 100 paper might be 90 are irrelevant to your research topic and 10 may be a most relevant to your research topic. That 10 relevant papers, now how will you can uh, uh, you can uh, divide uh, 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 prioritize these 10 papers which paper should come first and which paper should come after. So chat with your PDF. You can read your paper within 10 minutes with the size space. Go upload your paper and just ask Copilot to generate a summary of this paper. So you get the relevant information. Either this information is good to your research question or not. Once it's a good research question, you can go ahead. Once you decide after reading a summary, which paper should come first, which narrative should come first, select that particular paper. Once you select that particular paper, this paper is known as seed paper. Upload in the lit map and find out the relevant literature to that particular paper. So this is how build a, your narrative will be built and your collection will be built. So once this collection 
will be related to your research uh, paper. Once you collect all the research articles, you can study with SciSpace, summarize it, and then start writing and drafting your review article or research paper uh, with your paper poll. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Next, MD Alamgir. Yes. Uh, Ashik, uh, please, uh, if it's the last question, uh, we can entertain them. Uh, okay. Okay. As ma'am, you have shown a chart of specialized scientific AI based search engine, but would you please tell us few non STEM subjects like arts and humanities AI based search engines? Okay, so uh, I don't introduce the STEM based, these are the related to all related to uh, all fields. So if I said uh, specifically to related to a uh, STEM or biological sciences or living organism sciences, so these are not particularly to related to these fields. These are related to all fields. So there are many other ways like evidence heard is uh, totally a uh, Biological sciences based inside uh, .dev is a particular biological sciences based uh, database. So I I show these charts are relevant to all type of the literature, which are the common, which are the very common like humanity, art, science, and many other things. So I just target a whole population, not a specifically a STEM the participant. Thank you, ma'am.